<laughs> See, we're missing all this good stuff. Let's just do it. Let's okay. just do what we usually do. Probably an intro. Yeah. Well, we will. Bob will be coming up with the intro here. So, yeah, you got to like suck on your mic there, Mr. G. Oh, I got to suck on my mic. <laughs> uh, 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 hey, so you're listening to the mic. Talking Tunes. I'm Oscar Oswald. We got Greg Roberts here. We got Paul. Yo, and, baby, yo. I mean, how many years has it been? It's been. At more than 20 years. I can't see you with this monitor in front of me. Well, that's but, a good uh, thing. We don't like to see you either. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, it, it works neutral. It's a, it's a beautiful <laughs> thing over here. And you're running that control board. If you can't hear him, why don't you turn him up? Because there's only two controls here. Mike for me and, and Mike well, for Well, you three. don't need one. They want to hear us, not well, you. Well, okay. I'm sorry. Hey, run, turn the me down. run the board. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, it hasn't changed it. It's been it's been over twenty years because I'm thinking we started talking tunes in 1997. Uh, I gotta correct you already. Things have changed. The prescriptions now that we have to take have changed. Yeah. Yes. The medicine that we now take has changed. Okay. And there are things now. You mean that was I can't take those drugs anymore? You could. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a different effect. Don't, don't scare me to death. <laughs> you know, since uh, hey, since we had a, a, a program, I mean, uh, you know, they 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 were trying to invent a uh, a pill to grow hair. Uh, you and, lost hair. It made something else um, get larger. So Viagra <laughs> wasn't out then. Oh, was it? No, no. So well, that's my right. only comment is is none of those have helped me. So yeah, but <laughs> back in 1997, I didn't need Viagra, so you know it didn't matter back then. <laughs> you I know, with that it all my life. <laughs> with that, with that collar you got on you now, I still think I should start calling you Father G. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, another Father joke. <laughs> Bless you, my child. Yeah, uh, yeah. Bless you, my child. <laughs> Oh, well, anyway, Talking Tunes, we uh, we did this 23 years ago, I guess it was. We started I it. I wasn't involved in you it. You weren't involved with it, but you and, you and I have been involved in radio for a lot of years, too. We did Reminiscing. You we and still I, do. Yeah. yeah. So, and I and, worked with you at the age of, what, 16? Something like that. Yes. Holy cow. Yes. I started DJing with Holy cow, gee whiz. 16. And we're all... Former patio daddios. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I almost yeah, forgot about patio. the patio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, those, those were the days. Oh, yeah. Well, see, I, I started working. I don't want to remember some of those I, days. No, I don't <laughs> want to remember any of those days. I started working with Paul back in the, when I first came here, when I first moved here 38 years ago, something like that. So that was one of my one of my first jobs, uh, as far as one of my first jobs as DJing anyway, so with Paul. And it's been downhill ever since. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you mean it's been downhill ever since you met me, or uh, you take, take it whatever way radio. you want to take it, man? <laughs> take it whatever way you want to take it. So we're still waiting for some more people here. We're going to have Annette here too. She's going to give us a call, and we're going to do a little stupid. What was it? Stupid news, wasn't it? Is that what that was the brilliant the brilliant name we came up with? That was stupid it news. Was one of the new. Yeah, uh, it changed weekly. Yeah, and then we've got, I've talked to uh, uh, Beth Beeman, too, from the uh, Playhouse, which you got to check that out. That's beautiful now. Oh, it's you have place. that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mean that woman that loved us all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh you oh, man. <laughs> Please play that. <laughs> stupid, stupid news. That that will fit right with the news of today, won't it? Pretty much, yeah. yeah but we okay. Won't, we won't I go was going to say, what, what can you do for stupid news except turn the radio on and listen right now? It's, you know... It, uh, it, the the difference is, is her news is a lot funnier. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, yeah. The stuff that's going on. Anything's got to be funnier than the news. Yeah, we're talking. Today. We're talking straight from the pages of the Inquirer. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that that's called that's called the stupid news. So we got that coming up. We've got a lot a lot of things coming up. We're going to be doing this on Saturday morning, every morning just for your entertainment because we're what are we entertaining calling this? characters. Well, talking tunes is what we called it, but you know the oh, only talking to two point oh. Yeah, no, I'm talking. What are we? What are we? Yeah, what are we going to visit it? What are we calling what we're doing now? That's what I'm asking. It's a warm up. Oh, yeah, it's a warm up. Yeah. Okay. We're yeah, can't you? So you're open we, for suggestions. We're, right? we're stealing <laughs> signals like they do in baseball. Yeah, we had yeah, to put. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had to put the heat on in here too, so we are really getting warmed up. That's for sure. Well, yeah, it's we, up to 72 now, so hey, we're all right. We're we're heating it up. Hey, can you come blowing my hands? 
No, I won't. Move. <laughs> I'll move your chair over in front of that so you can get the heat blow on yeah, it. Yeah. I feel like that should be a song. <laughs> Come over, blow on my blow hands. On my hands. <laughs> my hands. That could be a good one. That could be a hit. That could be a G original. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know, I'm, we got, I'm retired from that, man. Yeah, well, we got Kathy coming in here, too. And not this, not today, but she'll be coming in here during the weeks and uh, during the Saturdays. And she can play drums, and you can play drums, you can play congas. Yeah, we could do a little thing going here. Oh, well, yeah, you know, I'm still healing. I know, I know. You know I don't want to push you. I'm, I'm, I'm still healing. As, that's why I sound like froggy with my voice. But uh, Have you noticed any difference, Paul? In what? In his voice? Yes. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, okay, just checking. But I don't, when people come in with a collar on and have gone through what he went through, yeah. I don't ask them why their voice is not <laughs> the same as it was 20 <laughs> years ago. I just let it ride, you know. Just, just let it ride. Yeah. Let it ride. And so what we're going to be doing is, is you know what, life is too serious. It is, it's, what we want to do is just bring laughter back to Muskegon. Yeah. Okay. And, 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 and be a little edgy because we are too serious. You know what's coming up, Greg, that you got to do? Yeah. No, because I can't damn see you. <laughs> uh, uh, no, you're not there. I can't. You're, you're not missing you're little, anything. You look like an emoji. Well, all I see is a damn screen. Okay. <laughs> okay. What we got to do is we got to have you. Got to send you and John Van Wyke back out over to the post office now to. to oh man. <laughs> that was funny. We got. You know, we have to go through those segments. Yeah. And explain those segments. Yeah, we do. And Bob is a, is a good one to do that, too, because Bob did a lot of the writing for the show, too, as far as some of this goofy stuff that we did. But that was after I left. How, how, how did we come up with the places where we... It, it was just kind of random, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. We where, just, where can we go get something? Where yeah. can Greg go something and what he do? Oh, yeah. Well, you, we were the, you were the scam man back then. Scam. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're the scam man. Yes, the scam man back then. And... Uh, with Kathy, I talked to Kathy. She's going to be helping us out too to find out who we, because they're probably dead now. The people we talked to at uh, Spam, <laughs> <laughs> the Spam Ambassador and the uh, Spam Queen. I'm sure they're probably well. They're not dead. They're probably retired anyway. And uh, so she's going to find out who we need to talk to at Hormel Foods and maybe get a little spam jam going here. Hey, we got a nice parking lot here to do spam, and we, I'm sure the uh, Pints and Courts would love it. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure they would love it. And then also, what about the people from like Turtle Creek? Yeah, Turtle Turtle Lake. Yeah, Turtle Lake. Turtle Lake nudist camp. Yep. Yeah, she's gonna check into that too. I'm sure Hoffman is is long gone by now though, because she was like 80, close to 80 when we <laughs> talked to her 20 some years ago. So hey, if she's talk. not. We don't want to see her naked. Wait a minute. Well, you know, <laughs> let's take a little bit of talk, so because we think people know what we're talking about. Yeah, I know. What we're talking about. Why don't you explain Turtle Lake? Well, we're gonna we're gonna take a break and then we'll come back and we'll do some more explaining. Oh. There's lots of explaining to do, man. Lucy, you got some explaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to is uh, 100.9. Glad to be here. Yes, mm -hmm. always, but he's always been in the dark. Once you, <laughs> <laughs> I can take my coat off now. That uh, just make sure that's all you take off. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I didn't see anything that funny in that. <laughs> no, no, I was thinking about the time that you and I were at that shotgun wedding, and it was just which one? Uh, it was just cornfields all the way around, mm. and that's when you misplaced the keys and. Oh uh, yeah, no, the somebody took them. The, okay, whatever. Yeah, that, yeah. And we don't talk about Dory yeah, coming after us. Okay, so the motorcycle bank, the motorcycle gang came and wanted us to play because we were starting to tear down. And yeah. the twins, one of the guys took my hat, <laughs> and I'm like, "Damn it, I'm going to get my hat." And you, Greg, we can buy you a new hat. <laughs> no, I'm going to get my damn hat. <laughs> 
I, I don't. I didn't remember that part. Yeah. But now, now I can. Oh, like, I'm going to get my hat. And that's when the guy started dancing on the table. Yeah, part. he was dancing on yeah. the table part. Yeah. And I went over there and said, "Man, you gotta get my hat." And it, and his twin brother came over and says, "Man, I like you. You got spunk. Give us damn man." <laughs> and then it went downhill from there. Yeah, it went downhill from there, and it was cold. Oh, it was cold. It was so so. <laughs> yeah, I, well, sorta. <laughs> Talking tunes, we're back. I'm Oscar Osbo. We heard the G Man with Paul. What should we call you, Peter Tripp? Peter Tripp. Head go ahead, good in third row. Okay, yeah, let's do that. If you Peter, want to do that, Peter Tripp. Peter yep. Tripp. You are a trip, man. But anyway, we got the one, the only, Annette. Ooh, baby, baby, back. <laughs> ooh, baby, baby, back. Ooh, baby, baby, back. Baby, baby, back. Baby, baby, back. Baby, baby. Yeah, like, baby, we could do that. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, that Tootsie Roll. Who did that? That Tootsie Roll. <laughs> now, you did, you, did, you did Talking Tunes with us. Now, the original ones, of course, we were talking about this, and people don't know what the heck we're talking about because, it, you know, 20 years ago, most people are dead. Yeah, we didn't know what we were doing. But uh, most people are dead now that listen to us. But anyway, the ones that didn't. <laughs> or, or nursing homes. Or nursing homes, yeah. Oh, come on, guys. I'm not there yet. <laughs> yeah, Paul. <laughs> so we've got, um, anyway, we were talking a little bit about how we were going to uh, explain what Talking Dudes was. But I think just us talking right now is pretty much explaining the whole thing. It was just us having yeah, a good time. Yeah. Right. We just talk over one another and think we're, we think we're funny and then we laugh. And <laughs> that's kind of it. That was Greg. <laughs> Greg did that. Yeah, it was just Greg. Yeah, it was yeah, just Greg. Just blame it on me. <laughs> the only one I miss is this the smart the smart ass remarks that uh, Bill Eddings used to make. That was that was that was quite uh, quite comical. Mike. So yes. maybe we'll get Bill over here sometime. But anyway, uh, so we had originally we had Mr. John Van Wyke and you no, know, I call him Mr. John Van Wyke, uh, Greg Greg Roberts, and myself started talking tunes, and then. Uh, I think I think John asked Bill to come along, and then uh, that worked out real well. And then, I, of course, I asked you because I worked with you back in the early TV yeah. forty days. Oh my God! Yeah, nineteen forty, I think. <laughs> yeah, probably. But TV forty that was that was quite the uh, quite the yeah. event for you. And you know Paul Phillips. No. You don't know Paul, but Paul's. No, I know. I was. She was there when I was at TV Forty doing that that show with uh, Peggy White. Was she? She came in a couple of times. Yeah. Why'd you come in? No. <laughs> Weren't you scared? No. Yeah. <laughs> that had been scary. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so you did the the morning show with Ron, and then of course uh, Paul did it with Peggy, and he lost spit his coffee out a couple times, and. <laughs> and uh, Peggy always picked on him for his white socks, and you know, I just it was it was a good time. Yeah. And she she I she. Once I um this was on the TV show, uh, we always had something yummy from a guest or whatever, and she brought something yummy, and I said, "Oh, I think this is when you and I connected." I was talking with a mouthful of cookies, and then I opened my mouth. Yeah. A mouthful of yeah. Yeah, well, with me, with me, it was with me, it was just coffee. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's why her and I connected, though. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so. So anyway, we yeah. one thing we used to do, and we always had you do the stupid news. We never came up with a better name than that. So no, that's that's what it is. So it, you know, it kind of fit. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah, are you ready to, to put the old hat on yeah, after twenty know, some years? I have. I, I'm going to tease you with a stupid news headline. Okay. The headline. Not the headline. Yeah. Not the headline. Now these are actual headlines from Florida. Actual news. Television, like news television shows. Okay. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. <laughs> All right, ready for number one? Oh I yeah. Like a top, and about eighty of them. You have time? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I'm do like David Letterman and count them, count them up. Anyway, hey, here's from a newspaper, and I'm not gonna 
tell you which one because you know I don't want one. We know the Chronicle's not around anymore, so. The what is it? The chron the comical that's not around anymore, is it? Or is it still? Oh, uh, yeah. Is it? I don't think so. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> okay. Yes, you did. Good news headline. <laughs> <laughs> Find weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Find weapons? <laughs> Find weapons. Federal agents raid gun shop. And find oh, weapons. weapons. We're slow. Yeah, We're okay. slow. Okay. You got it. Okay. All right. Here's a newspaper headline. Bunks flying around with wings are flying bugs. <laughs> I don't even want to know what paper you got these out of. Wait, what? <laughs> like the New York Post or the Utah Trumpeteer or whatever the heck they do down there. Wow. Um, health officials, pools, diarrhea, not good mix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know from experience, don't we? Yeah, we all do now. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to hear about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah, that came from the machine chronicle. Oh, there we go. Did Bill Eddings write that? Or? <laughs> there, there goes my pension. <laughs> what was that? I said, there goes my pension. I was being sued by the comical. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Such is life. Such is life. <laughs> Shows youngest child considered baby in the family. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's getting paid to write. Well, no one's gonna tune in anymore. I've lost my touch. So, somebody's, gonna, somebody's getting paid to write this. Huh? Well, so, yeah. Well, anyway. Well, they're probably dead now, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, oh, the I wish I could hear you guys. You can't hear us. I can't really hear you. Oh. I can hear you, Oscar. Well, of course. I, I think it's great. In the background. Yeah, nobody can hear him. Wow. <laughs> that means he's so quiet. Wow. Quiet, shy guy. No, he's just he's just having a hard time speaking. I mean, all this all this technology we got here. Yes, yeah, something else, right? Yeah. All right, nuclear explosion could be a disaster. <laughs> 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 and also from the Weather Channel, rain creates wet roads. Yeah. <laughs> oh That's good. yeah, 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 yeah. And from a newspaper, this one was probably from Utah. Student glad dad got head job. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you, right. you heard the response that time, right? Yeah. Now, are we going to get kicked off the radio? Oh, we can only hope. We can only hope. We hope. For some reason, they let us back on. It yeah. won't be the first time. Yeah. <laughs> no, right. We're back on illegally anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Statistics show that teen pregnancies drop off significantly after age 25. <laughs> oh boy and also homicide victims rarely talk to police <laughs> I would think so <laughs> you, found this, you found this stuff in actual papers it's mis miscues you know they just yes. you gotta be kidding oh okay nope seriously and I think you know what I think we, we should you know Ask Bill. He's a journalist. I think they try to do stuff like that. Just to wake you know, people guys. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I think they're clever. You know, like Bill. Yeah, Bill. Bill always thought he was clever. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. He, he is, is though. Yeah. He is a clever guy. He is a clever guy. He's funny, and he's got the best dry wit. He's yeah, exactly. He had some great dry yeah. wit. Yeah. All right. So. All right. What? Want, want some more? Oh, keep oh, going. Oh, sure, go. 
pardon? Yes, yes, please. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Please, yes, please. Now we want some more head news. Can, can I have some more? <laughs> please, can I have some more? All right, go, go ahead. Oh, wow, we've got professionals there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, study shows that frequent sex enhances pregnancy chances. <laughs> Not with, not with these guys sitting here. Uh, no, you're right, right. It's, uh, those are their natural birth control. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard and I'm sitting on the kitchen floor because that's the only place good light and then my stomach's cramping up. I'm laughing. I'm not funny these are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Utah, see another Utah. Utah Poison Control Center reminds everyone not to take poison. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, now, you know, first I thought they were all good. Now I'm starting to filter through them to find a couple good ones. Oh, yeah, students cook and serve grandparents. <laughs> that took a second. Yeah. <laughs> Students uh, cook and serve grandparents. Yeah. <laughs> it was funnier when you said it. <laughs> well, I was just trying to get dummy over here to understand what happened. <laughs> oh, did you hear that, Greg? Uh, you can, you're next to him. You can slap him if you want. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and death is nation's top killer. <laughs> yeah. Last, I would. Okay. Not, not last but not best. No, maybe best. <laughs> Headless body found in topless bar. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, makes you want to go to Utah. We should take a trip to Utah and do the show from there. Yeah, if we can do that. Yeah, we'll send Paul out there. <laughs> Remote. Yeah, I have to get a better phone system though. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Miss. Talking about. You're welcome. But uh, let me let me. Uh, I gotta take a quick break here, and then we'll uh, um, we'll come back. But uh, you hold on, okay? Okay. Thanks. Okay. Talk okay. tunes on Muskegon's 100.9. Yeah, the other two mics aren't working. I don't know. Oh, gee. Now I can hear your sweet voice real good. There you oh, go. hey. Is that Paul? That's, That's Paul. Me. <clears throat> hey, Paul. Hi. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that makes a world of difference. Oh yeah, you saw. Yeah, that's what, that's why I said I take a break and we come back because that it was that was not working for you. So you sound wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you do too, Greg. Oh, you were talking to her. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so are we ready? What are we doing? Do we know what we're doing now that we already did the... Or, or do you have any more things to say? We probably should do weather. Weather? <laughs> it's cold out. It, that, that's what I was probably going to say. Okay, here, you want to do weather then? Okay. It, it's, it's cloudy and the sun may shine tomorrow. <laughs> that was a stupid one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. We're on the air. <laughs> Welcome to Talking Tunes, and uh, we have Mr. Uh, PT. And uh, I don't know what do you want to be. What do you want to be called? Who's Mr. PT? I don't know. You were PT and OZ. We do our reminiscing show. Oh, I on, forgot about on YouTube. Oh, uh, M O U S E or whatever. Emoji? What? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have uh, Greg Roberts, uh, Paul Paul Phillips, uh, PT or Peter Tripp, the curly headed kid in the third row. Greg Roberts. And I think we have um, the scam man, by the way, Greg Roberts. And, the scam uh, man. You used to be, man. You used to be great at it. You get us all kinds of... Remember the Frappuccino, oh, Annette? Yeah. And, ah, Annette. Oh, baby, baby. Yeah, she's, she's also with us. I think she can. She sounds a little bit better. Oh, she so. sounds a lot better. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, good. And she can actually hear us. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that's a good thing, but yes. Well, yeah, that's true. It's always, it's yeah. always worked out. 
So and you know what, Greg? You were right. She does have a sexy voice. I'm telling oh, you. Yeah, I know. Well, see, all I could hear was then the. Fo- <laughs> <laughs> what well, she used to do? She she used to do the Marilyn Monroe thing. Can you still do that? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I just I don't do anything still. <laughs> <laughs> you used to you used to do the Marilyn Monroe thing, and all of us would just kind of both of our Greg and I would be standing there, and our mouths would just drop open when you did it. So. <laughs> Ooh, baby, and that's where the ooh, baby, baby, baby came baby from. Came yeah. from. Yeah. yeah, but now I'm old. Now I can do the granny clampets. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fixing us some vittles? <laughs> yeah, some vid- yeah, some vittles. Fixing me some vittles. Yeah, and yeah. what was the other Get one? Get some roadkill. Uh, mm. mm. Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> And anyway. speaking, speaking of squirrels, time for the weather. Oh, the weather. I'm sorry, Greg. We're, okay. we're going to come back and talk about the weather, weren't we? It's time for the weather. See, we're like... Okay. We're, we're, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yeah. The weather. It's damn cold. That's the weather report. Damn cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, how did that ever... Well, well John, John always did the weather. And how he always, cold, he how always cold is it? How yeah, cold is it, right? Greg? It's, uh, well, you, we don't know when well, this is going to air, but I'm going to say it's 17 degrees now. Uh, uh, that. And if, if you, you know, if this airs Saturday, it's going to be like four, no, 33. <laughs> if, if it airs on Wednesday, it's going to be 34. Or if it, it's going to air Friday, 26. You pick your date. Okay, that isn't yeah. what I meant, Greg, but that's fine. Yeah, thanks for that uh, that breakdown. That, <laughs> but uh, that would be forty four tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I heard too. That reminds yeah. me. That reminds me of uh, a blooper back from the old days. Oh boy! And it was over across the pond, and the announcer got flustered and he said uh just a minute la- he's doing the weather report he says just a minute ladies and gentlemen i'll take a leak and see what the temperature is i'll see if it's freezing outside <laughs> <laughs> well i'm glad that was years ago and it was funny yeah, but anyway yeah. <laughs> yeah. what i, I was think thinking it's gotten any funnier no thing. no yeah well you know Greg, uh, now paul is is a uh a dj from back in 1955 no back way. at yeah wkbw you in Buffalo, New York. He 50,000 watts, baby. Talk about cold, right? I know, right? Yeah, he's, he interviewed Elvis. He interviewed uh, Greg. <laughs> and look at you now, Paul. I yeah, know, right? Now. And he moved to Muskegon and said, no, you don't want to look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> and the same thing. I thought I did some pretty cool stuff, and now look at me now. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah, Greg said, yeah. Greg. Anyway, I was going to say about... <laughs> <laughs> All the say about Greg is that. Oh. Hey. Ah, okay. That's okay. Not saying much. Hey, Greg. Yeah. What? Okay, that dead silence was called great radio moment. Okay, okay. <laughs> the best of the show. Yeah, the best of the show, exactly. <laughs> no, but what Greg should have said as far as the weather, what I was trying to get out of the guy, instead of, you know, all these different temperatures for different days, was that when you go to the bathroom, when a guy goes to the bathroom and he can't even see it, then he knows it's really freaking cold outside. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. Okay, I guess that wasn't worth it either, but you know. <laughs> that's as bad as that's as bad as me. I'll take a leak outside to see if it's yeah, freezing. Pretty you know? much. Yeah. But that's anyway. So anyway, so you got some well, good stuff in case for us. You, in, in case you didn't know, the guy was supposed to say I'll take a peek outside because he had a thermometer outside the window. Oh. And he made a mistake and said I'll take a leak outside. Well that's almost that's funnier, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's a little funny. funnier. Yeah. Okay. Almost. Well, had, <laughs> almost. Well you had that stuff back in the back in the uh, my days of radio where you couldn't say anything you couldn't yeah, say true. fart or anything like that so what got the guys in trouble was when he was doing a little kid show right and he says there we'll leave Don Quixote sitting on his ass until tomorrow he got fired <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, got, I got fired at WKBZ back in the day when I said uh, Oscar you've been fired from everywhere I've been fired everywhere yeah, yeah. I've, been, I've been fired from everybody but I but my I wife didn't fire him. 
No, no. So, no, but you fired him off seven times. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't actually. I kind of no, no, he didn't ever fire me. We, we kind of Paul never fired other. me. Yeah, he never fired me. But anyway, so I was I was playing that uh, music of your death format, and uh, it came on. You know, Paul's format, and it mm-hmm. came on uh, standing on the corner watching all the girls go by, and I said, uh, I said, uh, I'm pecking Broadway. That's all I said. <laughs> That's all I said. <laughs> I got fired. I got yeah. fired. Fired. But, uh, yeah, well, that's okay. Yeah. And then while well, we have you on the line, yes. tell us one of your favorite moments from Talking Tunes. Yeah, Talking Tunes. I guess we were supposed to explain oh, to people man. Talking Tunes. We tried this once, and I didn't couldn't think of anything. Still can't think of anything. I know. didn't know I'd have to use my brain, otherwise I never would have signed up. Well, you know, you are sitting down on a nice cool floor and everything. You know I mean, what? I had to get up out of the floor. It was too cold. Now I'm sitting on the toilet. Oh, good, good. <laughs> Glad to hear <laughs> not, it. Not using it. Just oh, okay. I have just all my clothes uh, time, on. Time to take down. my headphones off. <laughs> <laughs> but I have no seating in my kitchen, and my bathroom is the only place I have decent light. Unless I go upstairs to my computer room, but yeah. It's probably oh, probably yeah. warm in there too. Yes, it is warm and steamy. <laughs> <laughs> is that because you got the heat on, or is that you're just natural for you to be steamy? It's he's getting a little too personal, isn't he? Yeah, he's getting too <laughs> personal. <laughs> oh, you get old like me. You, you know, I, um, you got to find right. these things out, man. Right. Uh, yeah, just, to, just I think. Guess. We had the days when she did the Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So there you go. You know what we need to do? We need to get you in the studio and do that voice. Get that voice back, and just call random people and just do stuff. <laughs> 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 Guess who just oh, no. Bob Becker just stay. walked into right. the studio. And speaking of random stuff, huh? he's, he's contemplating walking into the studio. contemplating walking into the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're coming into the studio as we speak. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> <laughs> The one that everyone dreams about, Mr. Bob Eckerd. His mic probably doesn't work, but hey, yeah. You got to come in and join our... our yeah, the, we got one working mic here. <laughs> Unless you want to come sit next to me, mine works too. So, you know, we can get nice and cozy, Bob. I no, I'm good over here. You're good over there, okay. <laughs> God. I can hear all three of us right from here, so we're good. Yeah. We're good. You probably need some headphones. Yeah, well, there's no more headphone jacks to plug headphones in. For, <laughs> for Bob. You, now you mean next time we do the show, I gotta bring my own headphones? Well, you know, I'm thinking about bringing an extra board to poke up to this thing so we can plug some mics in that. You know what? Board. I actually have one. I do too. Actually, I have one at home. I was thinking about bringing it. And I said, no, nah, we don't need it tonight. Well, yeah, this is a professional studio. What do we need that for? That's right. That's right. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my headphones to Bob and let Bob talk a little, a little bit about. About memories and uh, about talking tunes. Here you go, Bob. 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 All right, what's happening, everybody? Now, Bob's the one that came up with the wonderful promo that we did, we had on the air. Supposedly, mm-hmm. it's been on the air. See, I'm I'm lost because I'm old and I go a lot farther far than you guys go. So I have no idea what you're talking about. That's we, good. We That's just good. found him on the corner. We just found him on the corner. We picked him up and we said, "Come in, young man. We'll oh, take care of you." Yeah, the, the fewer we'll people that know about it, the better. So we're. <laughs> That's just refreshing that you haven't heard of it. <laughs> Well, we figured most people that it's been 23 years or so, I mean, oh God, when we yeah. started. And uh, most people are probably either extremely ill or dead. So there you go. Right. Like us. Yeah. Yeah. We're just, yeah. We, we just, hey, we can still sit down and talk, right? Some of us fit both yep. those categories, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's, what's up, Mr. Mr. Ecker? Mr. I should say Mr. Uh, sportscaster of uh, the, the Big Reds, He's the, the voice. voice of the Big Reds, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of my roles, certainly, doing the uh, play-by-play for the Big Red football now, and basketball. You know what, Bob? You you owe me uh, something because... You I owe know, you a lot. Well, oh. you know, the, the, there's only two, two people that are, or one person, rather, that is more important than me 
is is your wife. But you know, when you walked in that in that station at Oldies and Eagle and, and cut through the smoke like with a knife, and you found me at the desk. Luckily, I had that that uh, that program director on my card, even though I didn't program direct squat. But I had the program director on my card, so you had to come to me. And I said, you want to work for us for free? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, and the rest is history, right? That's true. That's true. Yeah. I, I approached you guys, and I knew you guys were doing high school sports broadcasts. Right. Boys and that. young. Yep. And so I said, I'm going to go somewhere where they're already doing it because that's what I want to be involved in. And I'm willing to start at the bottom. And boy, did I stay there you, for a long you, time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you got to do? with Ficarelli, you got to deal with uh, Moyes and Young. I mean, Paul, yeah. you yeah. like the Bear Lake Tavern? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in all seriousness, that is true, though. I, I did get to work with some great people yeah. and, and yeah. got some great opportunities to work with you guys, and then the Talking Tune show came up eventually, yeah. and I got to be and involved with that. We suckered you a lot for, for that one for free, and yeah. Yeah, you know, I was willing to do whatever, and you guys were willing to have me, so. Did. I had that that uh, that program director on my card even though I didn't program direct squat but I had the program <laughs> director on my card so you had to come to me and I said you want to work for us for free okay <laughs> yeah, and the rest is history right that's true that's true yeah. I, I approached you guys and I knew you guys were doing high school sports broadcasts right. Boys and that, young. yep and so I said I'm going to go somewhere where they're already doing it because that's what I want to be involved in and I'm willing to start at the bottom and boy did I stay there you, for a long you, time yeah <laughs> <laughs> what you got to do with Ficarelli, you got to deal with uh, Moyes and Young. I mean, Paul. Yeah. You yeah. like the Bear Lake Tavern? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in all seriousness, that is true, though. I, I did get to work with some great people yeah. and, and yeah. got some great opportunities to work with you guys. And, and the Talking Tune show came up eventually. Yeah. And I got to be and involved with that. We suckered you a lot for, for that one for free. And yeah. Yeah, you know, I was willing to do whatever. And you guys were willing to have me. So <laughs> that's what we yeah. did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're still doing everything for free yeah well you know you get old you don't care anymore <laughs> right absolutely so hey guys i'm sorry i have to cut out i've got to cook some dinner uh oh got to you, cook the dinner what are you cooking me tonight um i'm probably just gonna do like a little veggie pizza with white sauce oh so no 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 roadkill tonight no no maybe okay. squirrel 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 okay Thank you. We love you. Hey, we love you. Guys. All right. Talk soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay. Ooh, baby, baby is gone. Yeah. There's the dial tone to prove it. <laughs> yeah. Talking tunes, and we're here with Mr. Bob Ecker, the the voice of the Big Reds. He is the voice of kind of a kind of a godly voice, don't you think? G. Voices move as capacity. <laughs> so what's going on, Mr. Bob? Not a whole lot. You know, we, we were talking about putting this show back together again after all these years. So that's I tell everybody your your role on talking tunes. What did you what did you do exactly? Stayed out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say that. Are you recording? Yes, I am recording. Thank you, Paul. Oh, that's not moving. It is moving. Oh, it's just but thank you there, old guy. Go, okay. Just push the old guy in the corner, will you, will you Greg? <laughs> I'm already in the corner. <laughs> no, I, I was, you know, I produced the show, I guess you'd say. That was my title, I guess. Sitting in the chair that you're sitting in now. Yeah. Uh, and just letting the talent do their thing. Uh, contributing a few ideas here and there. Um, no. But mainly just, you know, it was a pretty well-established show when I came on board, so I just tried to keep it within the lanes you know and and it, let you guys continue to have fun with it there was lanes well, there, there were lanes yeah. considering that he was the only one sober on saturday morning <laughs> <laughs> that's true that probably helped yeah, yeah. well like i could say that was the one of the shows when we did uh, uh bill eddings brought in a bottle of vodka from russia russia and we drank it on the air, which is probably illegal as heck, but you know, we did it. And we got away with it somehow. 
FCC wasn't listening that day, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and then we, the FCC stopped listening to that show oh, yeah, yeah, early yeah, on. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, they they were said, like, we'll just let them go. These guys aren't a threat. <laughs> yeah, we're not a threat. <laughs> But this uh, show will never last. That's what they careful, thought. Be careful, guys. Yeah, yeah. He's Don't a, do anything against the FCC. He's a ham guy. He's the ham guy. Um, but yeah, when you when you came in, I kind of that's when I went to the Grand Rapids area there and did some stuff over there. And uh, but you were there before with with me though. I mean, as far as kind of in the background a little bit more though, weren't you? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, had, I already had experienced a little bit of being around the show, maybe filling in a couple of times and in watching you guys do your thing. And that's why I said I, I didn't really try to change too much or do anything differently. You guys had already established the show pretty well. It was very successful, very funny. You know, you guys said I'm sure it had a ton of listeners. And, uh, you know, it, it, we just tried to kind it of... It lies really on. well, don't you, G? <laughs> you guys, I'll tell you. Yeah, G's back there laughing oh. his butt off okay, over there. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I just got this new feed. And Mississippi man arrested after trying to cash a hundred thousand dollar scratch off ticket ticket with glued on numbers. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I'll have to try that. Yeah. Mississippi. Surprised. Right on the Mississippi. Quite surprised he was caught. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now uh now as far as your 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 tone of voice, people wouldn't realize some of the stuff that you come up with because when I left, you did I guess John talked about the the radio stuff that you wrote as far as uh theater. Oh. That was really funny. Oh boy, I, theater. I missed that's, that. That's a loose <laughs> interpretation of that. <laughs> I missed that. That's theater. what I want to. I want to see Gee, that this time. The theater. Talking to it. Called it the theater. Theater. If we if we survive, I want to see some more theater at Talking Tunes because I I never got a chance to see that. So. Some amazing stuff is Bob will come in and say, "Hey, I wrote this. Let's roll." Okay. And we would just read. And that's what we calls. that's what we always did anyway. But you had something written down yeah. to actually say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we we wrote some some basic scripts to start with, and then people just kind of went their own way and and you know used their own creativity behind it. But yeah, there was at least some kind of a framework to some of it, which was kind of a, wow. just again a Kickstarter for some creativity and some ideas. And then again, the people that we worked worked with on that show, G U included, and you know there there was a lot of a lot of humor and and talent on that show and, and drinking so, and, and, well whatever 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 helped you know bring that out of them yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, but yeah it was just uh, an opportunity to really throw some fresh ideas out there and then so a lot of the stuff we did though probably was never aired and couldn't be aired <laughs> it was done more like well let's hey, try to break Saturday those boundaries night. this time right yeah well <laughs> something to shoot for yeah something to shoot for there you go but uh, yeah, so can you remember some of the some of the skits you did? Oh, uh, we well we we did a few like we did one on the uh, you know how the any any time you take some kind of medication, there's always these side effects and potential <laughs> risks and disclaimers that you have to legally read. So we came up with our own pill and all the side effects that it had potentially. So things of that nature. Um, instead of doing Circus of the Stars, <laughs> we did Circus of the Scars. So we we had pillars. a lot of different, uh, a lot of different acts. You might say that were part of that circus. And then again, with all the different voices, that they all just kind of took off. We had a used car sales commercial <laughs> that was kind of. It had several different versions of it. And that was that was voiced by Brian Worsham. Okay, he did a great job with it. It was Crazy Larry's Car Emporium. <laughs> so we, yeah, we just kind of created a few different ideas and characters, and then found out who would be the best voices. And then I know G Man was personally involved in this one. We did an entire edition of the People's Court, <laughs> <laughs> which took place in a trailer park. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Poor G. Yeah, we we used to, we used to, to remember that. Now. We used to abuse poor G Man. I tell you. Poor Poor Greg, we used to uh, I don't feel sometimes. too sorry for him. I don't feel. Hey, I don't. Where, yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, where, where, where he would get us. He would get us breakfast. He would get us whatever we wanted. We, we I do remember we had a we had a deal with breakfast. Yeah, at the place next door when it was open. Oh, Priory. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Yeah. A, they had good food over there. Yeah. 
what, we'll have to work on a work on a trade so we can get breakfast downstairs at the uh, uh, pints and cores here. But I, I think they serve breakfast, do they? I don't even I, know. I don't know. No, but they serve some other beverages. Oh, we can always. Say, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Liquid. We got. Breakfast. We have. We can get some Bloody Marys down there, I suppose. So that'll be our breakfast. Breakfast of champions. Breakfast of champions. We did that quite a few mornings. We used to do that at Rackets a lot. And uh, well, where are some of the other places? We we went everywhere. Sandbar. Sandbar. Oh yeah, Sandbar. Oh, yeah. Top. Uh, yeah. Top. Top. We have to do some shows there. I think. Yeah. Live from the Papa Top or like big T- Tammy. What, what was it? I remember Tammy told me the last time when I was over there that uh, I'm the one that gave her the name Tabletop Tammy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah. And um, some other names that we gave other people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We gave a lot of names. <laughs> <laughs> what is What was Bob's? Did Bob ever get a good name? No. No? No. I mean, you we, we came up with many names for you, but... Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> Many John was just a weather all, guy. All kinds of things. Yeah, well, I, I like G. I like one year recurring segments and the old talking tunes. Uh, you guys maybe have already talked about this. I walked in midstream here, but the uh, going to the yard sales. <laughs> really? That's oh, yeah. my favorite. That's what I do. I um, I live for yard sales. Yard sale. He won't stop when we ever go with a, a trip. With you remember Paul? those though? Oh, never yard stop. sales. Oh yes. We, we'd give you assignments. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. It's got a cold out. never turn you, down in an assignment. You send G-Man out, and you say, okay, he's going to hit a yard sale. He hits one. He pulls in, and he's going to try to find an object, and he's going to explain <laughs> that to us. You know, it's a radio, so you got to explain what you're looking at, what you're holding in your hand, and then you, you, you see what the price is on it, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, dick, you dicker him down. He did. Yeah, you didn't dicker he? him down, or yeah. you make you say, "Gee, what what do you got to do to get that for free? <laughs> what kind of a deal? Or maybe we'll have G bring an item and try to make a trade. And we'll trade our way through the morning. Ooh. He'll hit several sales, and he'll try to keep upgrading. You know, things of that nature. Oh, come on, man! I want to go with you on this next one. When we do it this summer, it's kind we'll, of a you scavenger hunt. It was like a scavenger. Yeah, yeah. you and I. Well, that's what that's what we're gonna do. Give you a list of items. You go to yard sales and try to find those items. I remember that now. So yeah. we would start with a small item or an item, and the item, the idea was always to try to trade. Yeah. For something that we need, like a microphone or anything. Oh, but we got a couple that are working here, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like fun. What I, I see, that's what I'm saying, Bob. I don't know what it is, but man, you, even even your wife, even Kathy, we were talking today on we were texting, and she said that she was reading the promos that you came up with, and she's laughing her butt off because I don't, he, he's got a talent. He's he's a talented guy when it comes to coming up with humor. All we got to do is pursue and, and use it, right? And, and do it come right. Up with details. The details. The guy yeah. is a, is mine. Well, yeah. Well, you've wild. you've seen him. You've seen him go as far as when he uh, does his sports announcing. I mean, the guy's got a book of information there in front of him, and he he doesn't miss a beat. So, I I'm, I'm proud of my boy. Proud of my boy. Proud of my boy. Yeah. <laughs> proud of my boy. <laughs> So uh, I, I, I think the, the great thing about the, the talking to them is that, that so many things going on in the world. And, and then when you look at comedy and stuff like that, that what we need to do is get that back to a point where people can just laugh. Yeah, have some and, and, fun. And, 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 you know, we're so super sensitive. And, and plus what we did um, with Talking Tunes is was to inform people what was happening in Muskegon. Right. And, and I, I, I think that that was one of the things that just made the program work. And, and I, I think we have to get back that and not be afraid of being a little edgy. And um, so I'm, I'm excited about doing that. And I'm excited about that there's going to be some challenges. And I think we have a, 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 two, a show coming in here. We go live in 15 minutes. Okay. So anyway, Talking Tunes, we'll uh, talk to you every Saturday every, right here on uh, Muskegon's 100.9. All right.